hello friends welcome back again to engineering tutorial now in today's video we are going to solve some numerical problems on star to delta and delta to star transformation okay so we are taking the first question which is a simple one we have been given with a pi network or a delta network and we have to find its equivalent star or t shaped network uh, i have already uh, told you in my uh, video related to the concepts related to star delta transformation that the pi network and the delta network they are the same they mean the same so this network can be redrawn as this okay and this okay like this so this is 5 ohm this is 3 ohm and this is 10 ohm now the first thing which you have to do is that you immediately name the terminals you immediately name the terminals 1 2 and 3 so the equivalent star shape is obtained okay the equivalent star shape is obtained from this okay and this this is r1 this is r2 and this is r3 r1 is connected to point 1 r2 is connected to point 2 and r3 is connected to point 3 now uh, i have uh, told you the formula for uh, delta to star conversion so if you have to calculate r1 okay if you have to calculate r1 then you have to include all those resistances in the numerator which have their one of the points as one it means you have to include r12 into r31 by this is the denominator it is going to be common that will be r12 plus r23 plus r31 here we have to calculate r1 so we included all those resistances in the numerator which had one of their points connected to point 1 and in here it is r12 that is 5 ohm and r31 which is 3 ohm and this denominator it will be constant throughout calculation of r2 and r3 so here it will be okay r12 is 5 ohm 5 into r31 which is 3 divided by r12 5 plus 10 plus 3 which is equal to 15 by 18 ohms so let us just calculate using calculator okay 15 divided by 18 which is equal to 0 0.83 ohms so let us just write it down here r1 is equal to 0 0.83 ohms now let us remove this portion For calculation of R2, for calculation of R2, we have to include all those resistances in the numerator which have their one point common as this point 2, means one end of the resistor should be connected to point 2. Here, those are R12, okay, this resistance is connected to point 2 which has one end connected to point 2 and r23 r23 these two resistances r12 and r23 means 5 ohm and 10 ohm they have their one end connected to this point 2 that's why r12 into r23 for calculation of r2 and this denominator is constant so here r12 is 5 and r23 is 
10 by 5 plus 10 plus 3 which is 18. So, it is 50 by 18 ohms that is equal to let us calculate 50 divided by 18 is equal to 2.77 ohms 2.77 ohms. So, this is the value of R2 let us just write it down here R2 is equal to 2.77 ohms. Next we have to calculate R3. So, let us just remove this top portion ok this top portion the denominator is constant. So, here also let us just remove this uh, top portion. Okay. Now, we have to calculate R 3. So, we have to include all those resistances here which have their one end connected to 3. So, that will be R 2 3 into R 3 1. Okay. R 3 1 which is 3 ohm and R 2 3 which is 10 ohm because these two resistors have their one end connected to 0.3. So, that is R 2 3 is 10 ohm. R 3 1 is 3 ohm which is 30 by 18, 30 by 18 is equal to 1.67 ohms ok, 1.67 ohms. R 3 is equal to 1.67 ohm. So, we have calculated the equivalent star shape network. So, that will be it will look something like this like it is point 0.1, this is point 0.2 and this is point 0.3. So, R 1 is 0 0.83 ohm, R 1 is equal to 0 0.83 ohm, R 2 is equal to 2.77 ohm, R 2 is equal to 2.77 ohm and R 3 is equal to uh, 1.67 ohm ok. So, this is a simple uh, delta to star conversion or pi to t conversion ok. So, this is how we have done it. You just have to remember the basic formula for delta to star conversion ok.